guys welcome back to my channel uh this is the stitching colors with shelly lewis and um, welcome to part three of my updated coloring book collection so we've got quite a few to go through here uh, no doubt these will be in quite a few parts as well so part three right let's make a start so the first three that i'm going to show you is these three here I'll just pop these books on the side so i've got more room there we go so these are three color counts by mindware the color by number these books are really hard difficult to get in the uk i can't remember when i actually got these i think i got these quite a quite a while ago now probably two years ago when you could seem to get a couple of these actually in the uk but it's more difficult now so the first one i've got is garden and it's color by number collection i've still got the tag thing in it when i got it from wordry and it should have the date on it yeah i bought this in the first of the 11th 2015 so it goes to show how long i've had it for so yeah this book goes straight into it i don't think i've colored anything out of this it just shows you some of the things on that side um what they have in the mindware series and they actually do 24 felt tip pens yeah i've not colored a single thing in this these are one-sided you have your colour code up the side and with these books as well you have your colour by number picture why is that dark you have your colour by number picture but yeah you have your colour by number picture and you also have a blank page as well for you to do your own colours on that's my only snag with these books. I'm not keen on these pages. I love the colour by number ones there, but I'm just not keen on the ones where you have to colour yourself, so I probably will give it to my son. And they're also, you have your double page spreads in as well. They're so cute when they're actually really, when they're coloured up, really coloured up, yeah. <laughs> when they are coloured up, and yeah. I have not coloured anything out of that. So the next one I have in the colour counts is Animals, a colour by number collection, again, obviously by Mindware. And I've coloured one in this. I did this one. I'm not sure when I actually completed it because I never put a date down on it, but I think I've had this book for a while as well because this is from like 2010. I've had it later than that. I didn't get it in 2010. But yeah, I've coloured one picture out of that one by the looks of it. So that is Animals Colour Counts. And the other one that I have in the Colour count series is Landscapes. Colour by number. I'm not sure if I've done anything out of this. Yeah, I did do one out of this, but I've took it out the book. I don't know why I take them out of the book. I'm just going to leave them in the book. Um, yeah, that's all that I've coloured out of this one. So that is Landscapes Colour Counts. If you do hear a plop, it's just me dropping my books down the side. So the next one is Colour by Number Animals and More with 24 images to colour by number. This was supposed to be £4.99. I got it from £2 from the works a while ago. Um, I'm not sure who this is by. I think it's got in the bottom corner, Hinkler. So I'm gathering that's who it's by. And I did this one out of here. I did this back in October 2017. <laughs> so it's quite nice. Simple colour palette at the bottom of the page. And I think that might be all that i've done in that one so that is color by number animals and more so the next one is color by number mandalas and this is by walter foster 30 plus fun and relaxing color by number projects 
I've not done anything in this. The reason being is because the thing that put me off about it was half of the, it's a fairly thick book as you can see, but half the book are just <sighs> introductions telling you how to colour, which to be honest I don't think you need instructions on that, you colour how you colour. It's just basically telling you how to colour and draw the different shapes and then you get the different shapes and then it goes into the pictures so half of the book is not a colour it's just instructions and that and then the other half is your pictures you get images at the back of the book where it's got no numbers on and then you get these that have got numbers so yeah i have not done a single thing in that one <laughs> i had it for christmas the one year picked it up from my local wh smith so the next one i've got is sea life color by number and this is by creative haven i might have done some pictures in this i don't know or i might have not <laughs> so yeah at the back of the book it gives you some well, pictures of what the images look like when they've coloured and I can't see any that I've coloured out of this one but I thought I did no oh well I haven't coloured a single thing out of that <laughs> I thought I did but I obviously haven't so the next one is this this is the Osborne, just get my tea there. The Osborne Big Colour by Number Book. Now, they do two other colour by number books, and I found out because I'd got the two other ones. This one is just a compilation of both, so it's both of the pictures put together. And it's just got this is designed and illustrated by Erica Harrison and written by Fiona Watt. And it's just general different random colour by number pictures in this. I'm not going to do a complete flip through. Just things like that. And coloured dots for you to go over. I'm not keen on the lines here being red and blue and green. I much prefer the pictures just being drawn in black. Now I don't think it looks like I haven't coloured a picture in here either. So yeah, I have not coloured anything in that either. So yeah, I'm going to have to get some of these books coloured, aren't I? I've got tons here that I've not touched. So this is another one, more colour by numbers. And I think this is included in the big colour by number book. And yeah, I have coloured a couple in this one. Designed and illustrated by Erica Harrison and written by Fiona Watt. And I did this one. I have no idea when I did it because I didn't put a date on it. I did sign it though. <laughs> I did this one. Oh gosh. I did this back in 2015. Oh my gosh. This, I did this when I was heavily pregnant with my daughter. Because she was born... Yeah, my daughter was born on the 20th of November. I coloured this on the 16th. So, yeah, it was a couple of days before I went into hospital to have my operation. I actually like that. I like that picture. That's really nice. I did this one. Double page spread. I'm not sure when I did that because I didn't date it. Ooh, I did these two. These are nice. I like these, especially that one. That is really colourful. This must have been when I was actually before I was dating my pictures. Do you know something? This is really nice to go back on my pictures and have a look at what I've coloured. I did this one. And I did this in 2017. You got the odd little penguin there, the red one. So yeah, I did that in 2017. And that is all that I coloured in that one i don't know if any of you guys do you like do you enjoy looking back on your pictures that you've colored i do i don't keep the books necessarily but mm. so the next one is beautiful copycat coloring pretty pictures to copy and complete 
Now this was from the works and it was five ninety nine, knocked down to three pound, and then it was in the sale, and it was supposed to be three pound, knocked down to two. <laughs> so yeah. And basically, what this is is you get two pictures of a, an image. You get the coloured image and the non-coloured image, and you colour the non-coloured one. So you get this one here. And basically, you're just copying the colours, what it has on the images. I don't think I've coloured anything out of this one. No. <laughs> yeah, another book where I've yet to colour in. Isn't somebody doing a colour challenge this month or for the whole year to start your whip? To carry on with your whips? Let me know in the comments, guys, or to start new books. And I'd love to join. So I've got this one. Amazing copycat colouring. Cool pictures to copy and complete. Now this one I got from Waterstones. It was a buy one get one half price. Uh, I think I brought it with the My Little Pony book. But I haven't got that one anymore. That one was a book that I donated to my son's school. So this is the same as the other one. You've got your picture. You've got your picture to colour. And you just copy their picture using your own pick colours. Now, I have not coloured anything in this either. <laughs> not coloured anything in that one. So the next one. Now, the next few, you would have seen these quite a few times now. Because these are some of my all-time favourite books um, by the Belber family. This is Mystery Mosaic Cinema and this is 3 by 3 millimeter sections. Now these books, I've done quite a few in these. I did this one. I've done that one. This one's just, basically it's just pictures of movies. That one of Avatar. And I think, did I do one more? Yeah. I did this one. That one's my favourite. That one's the one that's on the front cover. So I did those in 2020. So that is Mystery Mosaic Cinema by the Belber family. So the next one is Fairies Around Us Stained Glass and Magic Mosaics Colour by Number. And this was very kindly gifted to me from the Belber family for a review. And I've done that one in here. And got your colour palette. I did that one in April using Prismacolor pencils. I did that one, the Ballet Fairy. Um, I don't write down. I think I used Pentel markers for that one. And I did that one as well. Didn't I start? I did this on camera, didn't I? Yeah, I did. But I just didn't date it. That is all that I've done in that one. So that's Fairies Around Us, Stained Glass and um, Magic Mosaics by the Melba family. So the next one is Mystery Mosaics, Colour by Number Book for Adults, Passion. Now this one was one of the first ones that I got from the Belba family from... After watching Nick, Nikki in Niagara's channel, and I did this one in here on the 1st J January. I might have got this for Christmas actually. I did that one and I did a combination of colour, uh, block, and cross stitch method. I did that one with cross stitch method and I did that in March. Sorry about the blurredness. And I did this one and I didn't date it. <laughs> I think I did that last month. I remember doing that recently. So that is that one. So the next one is that I've got in my collection is Christmas and Travel Mosaics. Yeah. Sorry. I apologise about that guys, I just went to have a sip of my tea and I ended up throwing it all over myself. Oh gosh, sorry about that. Have you ever done that? <laughs> got, got, been talking, gone to have a sip of tea and ended up throwing it over yourself. Oh dear me, 
What am I like? This is an adult colour boy number book with relaxing pages of Christmas scenes around the world. And again, this is by the Belber family. Oh, she's talking about making a pig's ear in myself. And I did that one in here. And I did that back in March. And I think that is all that I've coloured in this book yet. But we have July, Christmas in July, so I can grab all my Christmas books out. So the next one I have in my collection is Square Mandalas Animals Patterns. And this is 3 by 3 millimeter sections and again it's by the Belber family. And in this one I have done... I did this one using the cross stitch method um, attempt and I love that. I did that for the, my colour along that I did uh, in March along with Lisa's Colouring Corner and Nikki in Niagara which was hashtag Belber in March. It had so much fun doing that, that colour along. Talking about colour alongs, if you are doing a colour along and... Just pop it in the comments below if you'd like me to join in the colour along or drop me an email. I'd love to join in one. <laughs> so I did that one as well. I did that a combination of block and cross stitch method. Or even a body colour. <laughs> I did this one a combination of block and cross stitch method. And that is all that I did in that book. Now I'm going to have another sip of my tea without throwing it over myself. brilliant it went in one hole <laughs> instead of all down my top so the next book i've got in my collection is mystery mosaics color by number book for adults women this is as well as one of the first books that i had by the belber family and i just did the general uh block method in this and i did this in december in 2019 i did that one i was really proud of that I did that in December 2019 and I love how that one turned out. I did this one and oh my gosh, it's gone blurry. And I did that in March 2000 and yeah, this year. <laughs> so that is all that I've done in that book. Seems to be going gloomy and bright outside today. It doesn't decide what it wants to do. So, the another book I got in my collection is Colour by Numbers, Mandalas and More. Uh, with 24 images to colour by number. <laughs> and this was supposed to be 4 99 knocked down to £2 in the works. And this is just a very simplistic one with a simple colour palette. I'm not sure who this is by. Again, Hinkler. And I did that one. I didn't date it. I did that one quite nice these how these turned out i did that one in that book i've done that one so i've done more than i actually thought i had and that is all that i've done in that book i'm back with you now guys i had to go and grab some more books so another one i got in my collection i completely and utterly forgot about this one because it was hidden away this is Christmas colour by number and this is just a simple Christmas colour by number book. Does it have who it's by? No. Hang on. Copyright and colour, discover kids, all rights reserved. But it doesn't actually say who it's reserved by. So yeah, sorry about that guys. I've done this one in here and I did this in 2017. So a while ago. I did this one in 2017 with pencils. Did this one in December 2017 with pencils. I did this one in December 2017. I have not got a clue what I used. I did this one in 2017 with pencils. I did this one in 2017. Have not got a clue what I used. I did this one and I used stay below power markers to do this one and I did this in 2018. 
I used Faber Castell connector pens to do this and I did this in 2018 I used Giotto pens do you know something I think I was on a try my pens phase <laughs> when I was doing this book because I seem to be trying different pens so I did this in December 2018 I used Baldmere pens in 2018 and that is what I've done in that book so I've done more than I thought in that one so next book I have is Colortronics Animals I don't think I've done anything in this uh, I bought this a while ago now this is by Lauren Farnsworth and I got this from my local WH Smith a while ago now. Now these are large colour by number pictures. You have your colour palette at the side. These are quite popular actually. And at the back of the book it shows you the images when they're done throughout the book. And I've not coloured a single sausage in there. So yeah, I haven't coloured anything in there. So I've got quite a... I oh, know guys, don't tell me off. I know I've got quite a few books that I have not coloured in. <laughs> so the next one is this one that I've got in my collection now. I'm not even going to try and say that word because I can't. This is uh, from Hatchet Heroes and it's Disney 50 Messages Mr. S. And this is a French colour by number book. I've noticed now that lately on Amazon you can't seem to get the a lot of the Hatchet Heroes books I don't know whether it's because of the lockdown whether they've actually stopped shipping the books to the UK but I notice you can't really get them and yeah that page is upside down so yeah these pages are terrible uh, it's like a pad really you can tear out the pages um, it's got a bit about the book but obviously it's in French so I can't read it and I did in this one I've done this one now I can't remember the date that I coloured this on but I can remember what I used I used Faber Castell pit pens to do this when I had those and I did this one and this one I think I can remember what I coloured in this uh, 2017 and I'm sure I used my stay below 68 to do those and at the back of the book does it show you yeah at the back of the book it shows you the finished images what they look like when they are done throughout the book so that is what I've done in that one. So I haven't done too many in that one, to be honest. So, how many minutes are we up to? We're up to 23 minutes, so I'll make this the last one for uh, part three. So I've got in my collection, Colour by Number Masterpieces, Unwind and Release Your Creativity by Bringing Art to Life. Pull out perforated pages, so that's good. Uh, let's have a look. I don't know where. I think I might have got this from the WH Smith as well a while ago when I was on a WH Smith colour and book rampage. <laughs> so this is the edition published by Paragon Books Ltd in 2016. And oh, it tells you a bit a bit about bit a bit a <laughs> bit a bit a bit. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, on the left hand side page it tells you a bit about the book and on the right hand side it has your pictures and at the bottom it gives you your colour palette for that picture now this is who is it <laughs> i can't believe it i forgot him oh vincent van gogh that's it Sorry about that, guys. I'm losing my marlies. So I used pencils to do this. So I'm not sure which pencils I used because I just didn't <laughs> write it down. And that is all that I've done. <laughs> surprise, surprise. At the back of the book, it shows you the images throughout the book as well. And it's just different paintings. I know that one. 
because I love Mr Bean and that picture is included in Mr Bean it's uh, Whistler's mother so I'm going to have to get some pictures coloured in these books I've got books here that I've abandoned that I've either forgotten about or I've not even realised that I hardly did anything in so yeah that is it guys so that is part three of my updated colouring book collection so I'll just grab all my books back up here uh, I'm going to Darth Vader just put me down the side there yeah I've got Darth Vader in my room guys gosh it's a lot there I think I'm going to have an avalanche avalanche oh dear me no I've got the look <laughs> I've got the lovely job of trying to get this lot back on the shelf. So, that is part three of my updated colouring book collection. So, guys, <laughs> besides the mishap and me throwing tea all over myself, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Uh, give it a thumbs down if you just don't like it. <laughs> yeah, no. Please give it a thumbs up guys, I would really appreciate that. If you're new to the channel then please feel free to press that subscribe button and the notifications of when I bring the next video out. I promise in the next video I won't try and drown myself in tea or coffee for that matter. <laughs> I'll drink it beforehand. Um, so yes, um, thank you guys. Thank you to my subscribers, all my subscribers and people that view the videos it really really does mean a lot to me and your support means the whole world um stay safe stay healthy thank you to all key workers out there um at the minute i know it's trying times but you're absolutely amazing um all of you are amazing even if you're not a key worker so I'm going to get going guys and I'm going to go and throw some more tea all over myself because I'm feeling quite thirsty still so yeah I'll see you in my next video guys <laughs> thank you for watching bye